Hello everybody, tis I the Rumpled One. The other day I was talking about a book I was reading in my slow down video over there by the uh, bench. Well the name of the book is A Geography of Time. It's written by Robert Levine. It says The Temporal Misadventures of a Social Psychologist. It's pretty interesting. I haven't read that much. I got a ways to go. But let me just share a couple things. Chapter 1 is called Tempo, the Speed of Life. Now, if you play music, you probably understand tempo. Basically, the pace of life is the flow or movement of time that people experience. And Cat One's trying to be a diva here, trying to take over the, the video. Cat One, you need to quit. But here's some interesting facts. Economic well-being. The healthier a place's economy, the faster its tempo. Time is money. It really isn't, but that just seems the way it is. You know, West Europe, here in the United States, things move a lot faster than they do, say, in Mexico or South America. She just wants in the in the picture, that's all. So people there, in those countries, they're not in a hurry. Manana! Why do it today when you can do it tomorrow? So, that's just the way it is there. Cat One's playing a game right now. See, I'm taking the time here. I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> to mess with the cat. But if you think about it, you see that people in the big cities, oh, they're in a rush. You know, in New York second, if you don't go when the light turns green. But out here in the rural pace, rural country, the pace is so slow. I call it, I don't, it's like you're in the parking zone, in neutral. You just, things just don't move. I guess, you know, you can take time to watch the grass grow. Here's something else that's interesting. The degree of industrialization. The more developed the country, the less free time per day. I mean, what kind of role is this? The more time-saving machine, machinery there is, the more pressed the person is for time. When you think about it, with all the labor-saving devices, shouldn't we be le leading a life of leisure in the 21st century? Shouldn't it be like George Jetson? See, there I go again. I dated myself. But what, what happened? Why are people working 50, 60 hours a week in these office jobs? I mean... What is it? What's so important? I mean, really? I mean, if you think about it, what's so important? But those are just a couple things I wanted to share with you. Once again, the book, A Geography of Time. I'll share some more readings with you because I'm only on page 15. <laughs> And there's over 200 pages, so we'll come back to this. In the meantime, Cat One here. There you go, Cat One. You can get some some camera time there. Go on. You can see she's getting spoiled. She really is. <laughs>